Hello everyone, this is Chris, and today I have a quick tutorial for pretty much anybody who's brand new to Windows 8 or has just never needed to look for the control panel. Now, the control panel in Windows 7 and pretty much all the versions before that, you could simply go to the start menu, and then on the right, uh, there would be a bunch of different settings, including the control panel button right there, which would open up the control panel window. However, if you're running Windows 8 or 8.1 and you try to go to the start menu, it looks completely different. So it's not so obvious how to get there, especially if you're used to Windows 7, Windows XP, or other versions like that. So once you've um, actually run the updates on Windows 8 to Windows 8.1, which is essentially mandatory, Windows 8 will force you to upgrade now. Um, you will have a start menu button down here on the bottom left. I believe in core Windows 8 it's not there, but uh, you can still get into the start menu um, through other methods. But in order to find the control panel from here, you can look for this little symbol, uh, which usually symbolizes settings, regardless of what operating system you're on, uh, Android, I'm not sure about iPhone, but definitely Windows. And it'll say PC settings, this little gear right here. And that's not going to take you up to the control panel, but it'll take you up to a very similar screen where you can modify some of the settings that would be contained in a control panel. But if you want to open up the window itself, what you used to from previous versions, what you want to do is go right down here to the bottom where it's kind of hidden out of the way and hit control panel. This is where you'll see the actual control panel. You may be used to the icons currently right now, it's in category mode, but you see right here where it says view by category? If you change that to small icons or large icons, uh, then that might look more like what you're used to. I typically use small or large icons myself personally. Now, that's not the only way you can do it. Um, if you're on the original Windows 8, for some reason you haven't updated to 8.1 yet, or if you just want a different way of doing it, in Windows 8 or 8.1, you can go up to the top right, and what will slide out is called a charm. So it's basically a, um, a sidebar menu uh, that hides itself automatically, and it's quite useful because uh, just by going to the top right, you can have these options slide out, like the search function, which is uh, pretty good, very useful for finding stuff on your computer, or settings. Uh, and then if you hit settings, you can find control panel right there second on the list. And once again, that'll show you what you would be used to if you were accessing the control panel from Windows 7, Windows uh, XP, and not um, using the PC settings um, of Windows 8. Now, of course, using the search function, you can also, I believe, find the control panel. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just type in control panel, bam, right there. Uh, search functionality is pretty great. But, of course, you can also use PC settings, and in many cases, this is just another way of accessing the same information as I, as I mentioned before. Like, you go to Network, and it'll present you with your network connections, which is something you can also edit from the control panel itself. Um, it's kind of up to you how you want to uh, maintain and change the settings on certain aspects of your computer. Of course, the control panel is, uh, for most cases, going to be much more in-depth and all containing than PC settings. Uh, so there you go. I hope that clears up at least a few options on how to find the control panel uh, in Windows 8, especially for those who might be a little bit confused. And um, one last tip, if you don't like the uh, regular start menu, and maybe you want it to be more like Windows 7, where it would just uh, pop up with a little window here showing you all your programs and the control panel right there is an option you can select. Uh, you can look up the classic start menu for Windows 8, and I'll have a link to that in the description so you can go ahead and download that. Normally, I have that enabled on uh, all my Windows 8 machines. I just uh, disabled it for the purpose of demonstration here. So, I've been Chris. Uh, I hope you guys found this very useful and helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below. Aside from that, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.